Good afternoon. This is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. It's Wednesday, February 14th, 2007, and the S&P 500 closed up a dollar here today. These spiders, that is, another uh, three quarters of a percent. And I'll tell you, man, it just must suck to be a dedicated short seller in this market. We've had a couple shorts from time to time work for us, but clearly you don't want to be selling short in an uptrend. It's just an all, you know, the trend is your friend is something you've got to just believe. And as long as that 50-day moving average continues to advance, we've got to consider this market innocent till proven guilty. There's no other way to look at it. Yesterday, we noted the, the buying that, um, uh, well, first of all, during the middle of the day, I'd put that chart up that said, here's potential resistance. And the key word was it was potential resistance. I said, the market might blast through this level. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. Took the shorts off guard once again, and they're scrambling to cover and um, you know, yesterday afternoon, they, it, they, the market did close above that five-day moving average. I said that the, it looks now like the seller, or the buyers rather, are back in control, and we had a real nice gain to those, uh, or add to those gains that we saw yesterday. So, um, what can you say? Except the trend is higher. The trend is your friend. Don't fight it. Looks like support is now uh, down here near about 145.35, and as far as resistance goes. Let's see. We're in a, uh, you know, we're at we're at uh, multi-year highs here, so the trend is higher. That's what you've got to focus on. As far as the Nasdaq goes, the, um, you know, yesterday I said that I'm, I'm basically neutral on this market. That really hasn't changed. Uh, in a, you know, my my opinion is never going to change in a day. It's more of a gradual thing. But we've been in this neutral range for the last two months. Today we had a nice day. It looked last week like we had had a failed break out of that inverted head and shoulders pattern. Here's the uh, the head, or left shoulder here, and the right shoulder. So we'd seen that breakout. It failed right in here. We got very defensive. And today, the market got back up above that level. So I was saying that the market really needs to prove itself by getting back up above 44.35. It did that today. And we're back right at these highs from just a couple days ago. So if we look at an hourly time frame, what we see here is that this 4470 area looks like breaking past there is going to put the pressure on the shorts and we'll, we'll probably get a, a rally up towards at least 45 and maybe we can uh, break back out on, on this market. The uh, I, I still think it, it pays to be cautious in the NASDAQ. This is a, a, a one day big move so we've got to look now for support down near that 4435. That's our best level of support right now. but. The buyers were out in force today, and it, it looks like we have the potential to maybe continue higher. So we do have an advancing 50-day moving average still, innocent till proven guilty, although it's really become really neutral in here. So um, the further along it is in this, this, this sideways action, I think the less likely a, a big breakout becomes. But... We could take the shorts, uh, catch the shorts off guard, and you never know what's going to happen. Best support is down near 43.50 for the intermediate term move, and 44.35 for the uh, shorter term uh, time frame. The mid caps yesterday, we saw that these this group bounced off that rising 10-day moving average. That three-day pullback was just a very short-term pullback in a powerful uptrend that is at all-time highs in these mid caps. So, uh, you know. I'm going to repeat what I said yesterday in the last few days, that this is a stock picker's environment in here where we have a kind of a market that's given us mixed signals when you when you consider the NASDAQ, the, the neutrality of this market versus the runaway market in the uh, mid-caps and the nice healthy uptrend in the S&P 500. So we've got a pretty mixed bag overall, and that's why it pays to focus on the uh, on the individual stocks. So let's take a look at what we've got there. We were in uh, AEIS yesterday, and this stock we've gotten involved in at $19.30. I think that you can raise your stop now to, uh, let's raise it to $19.78 in AEIS. Amazon, during the day today, I had, uh, well, first of all, our, our stop was to be, at uh, 39.11, we didn't get uh, hit on that stop. Today's uh, low was 39.14, so you should have still been in your Amazon. And I had suggested middle of the day that you take a dollar on ha a profit on half of your position. The stock made it up to our target, which is $40 a share. We have options expiration on Friday, and a lot of times these stocks, these large ones in particular, get stuck near a uh, 
big open interest um, uh, strike price like the $40 level. So we had then raised our stop to $39.80 on the remainder of, of the uh, the Amazon position. And I would say keep the stop at $39.80 on the half position. You've got a dollar profit locked in in uh, Amazon right now, so that's a good trade. SCUR, this is uh, secure computing. Let's take a look on the five-minute time frame. What we wanted to do here was buy the stock above $8.90, so you should have purchased it in here. Let's raise the stop from uh, $8.73 to break even right now in uh, SCUR. We had also looked last night at BRL. And notice that last night, I, you know, I was kind of cautious on the market, uh, the, the NASDAQ in particular. I said the S&Ps, the buyers were back in control. I didn't have a lot of ideas last night, but the ones that I did put on there were, were long trades. I was looking for a short. I wanted to put something on there, but there was nothing that called out to me and said it looked like it was going lower. So you've got to listen to the stock, to the market, but you have to pick the, the stocks based on what you see happening in the stocks, not w based on some scenario you see unfolding for the market that is you know, forcing to find a short sale idea. If it's not there, don't force it. What we're looking for here was a pullback to 53.60, then the buy and strength. You can see that the, uh, the stock gapped higher. So there's no trade in BRL today. HTLD, this is Heartland Express. What we wanted was a pullback to 1695 first. So we got that after some initial strength. We got the pullback to 1695. Buy it above 17 bucks a share, which occurred right here. Our stop was going to go at 1678, so we didn't get stopped out. And right now, your stop ought to be at break even in HTLD.